floor of the forgiving shrine. Remember that the purple, uh, the blue stuff will bounce off uh, the horizontal walls, while the purple stuff won't. And it's it's a very easy dodge. There we go, and she gives us the bomb. Like Yukari, well, like uh, Perfect Cherry Blossom, this extra sage gives you lots of resources. So that's a good thing. And that might be why a lot of people find this extra sage more doable. Yes, yes, Xufu's Dimension. I am actually quite bad at this attack, and I'm not sure why. It's some sort of border-like attack, which uh, Rimu might might want to use. Uh, remember that the blue stuff comes down and the red stuff comes out up. Uh, by stuff, I'm talking about amulets. So you know what you have to dodge and what you don't have to dodge. Okay, more rings of amulets for the non-spell. It's still on the doable side. But, yeah, it's making me force you to think fast, so it's a good thing. Honest Man's Death. Now, that is a stupid trick card. Essentially, there's n this laser is impossible to avoid, uh, so if you're honest and try to avoid it, then you'll die. So you want to be dishonest and move straight into the laser. And you'll notice that it has the usual properties of having a hitbox spawning late, so it won't kill you. Silly trick card. Yes. Ah! Had to bomb for nothing there. Hollow Giant Woo. Uh, I hate this attack. I invented a new method for it just yesterday. My usual method in involved going circling around the top, but now I'm just streaming it like this. I think I'm going to be a bit more successful. Yes, 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 yes! Excellent. Notice resurrection on the top right of the screen misses an S. Ah, wonder if that's a Zoom's misspelling or the translation's misspelling, whatever. Phoenix's tail. Fun dodging. Yeah, I like this attack. It's hard, but yeah, I'd, I'd call it quite hard actually. Because the basically the hitboxes are a bit hard to read and the bullets move at very different speeds makes it hard to read at times. Excellent. This is looking up to be my best Morkor run ever for now. I think this is the last non-spell and it hits me. Last non-spell usually does. Fujiyama Volcano. Another hard attack. This one. Best strategy is what I'm doing right now circle around her after she spawns all those explosive things now basically yeah yes now it should be done excellent now survival card possessed by Fenny Phoenix I hate this attack I really really hate this attack it's it basically alternates between easy and annoyingly hard, and I I don't like the idea of uh, the shots appearing next to you. Okay, this is the extremely annoying part, where you want to rotate around the screen like that, and it, ah, I have no idea how I'm doing so well actually, and man. This has killed me lots and lots of times. Yes! Sir. This is most excellent. Ah, this is really an amazing run right now. <laughs> and see, apart from the rotating, now it's it's really not hard at all. Which is annoying. No notice how the phoenix is following me. Yes! Everything captured until now. 
And now it's the final normal attack. Poor Idol. This is hard. You essentially want to rotate, move in a circle like that. So I messed something up and I'm not sure what. And the more time moves, the more stuff you have to dodge. It's not an HP base card, I think. It's just based on time. So there's no point in uh, stalling out by not shooting. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! This... Every normal spell card captured. Now, it's her last spell, Imperishable Shooting. Also known as the Embodiment of Clip Death. You only get to face this if you captured seven spell cards in the whole stage, including Kainas. And seeing uh, that I captured everything, <laughs> of course I am facing it. Yeah, and I failed. Ah! I really hate Imperishable Shooting. I probably have a replay that I'm going to show right now. Oh, look at her, she's burning! Oh, poor girl. Yeah, she wasn't very strong at all. I didn't even lose a single life. Pa, pathetic! Did I really not lose a single life? That practice really did pay off, did it? <laughs> Wow! Amazing. Amazing horrific. Anyway, imperishable shooting, you. Uh, I failed right at the beginning. Uh, I'm going to show a replay which shows the real reason why why it's hard. And clip deathy. I was just. Right there, I was just too say. Too slow. And didn't move into that purple flower star, whatever. Um. There. Now that's some pun. What score do I have? Man, I literally exploded my old uh, high score. Let's save that. Oh yes, I will freaking save that. Hell yeah! I'm going to save that all the way up to New Jersey. And Greenland. Higher score, eight, uh, 18, no, 1,804,000,000, million million. difficulty extra, continues 0, death 0, bombs 3, spell card captured 12. Say replay, yes! And uh, what? What am I going to save this over? Uh, this? Yeah, whatever. So, quick replay of uh, Imperishable Shooting, is it, what is it? This one, do I have a replay of that? Man, do I have a replay of that? Yes, here it is. With Rimi and Yukari, because it's easier with a small hitbox. Imperishable Shooting is, by the way, a survival card that didn't mention it, but yeah. You can also have uh, some fun grazing it if you want. guess you would want to. Well, doing some some small amount of grace abuse is not too hard. Okay, so that was the easy beginning which I failed. Now for the middle part, well second part, where uh, those flowery things just alternate like this, get in one out of the other. Yep, now third part. It's, uh, I'd say it's the hardest part. Lots of flowery things at the same time. It, it might look easy because uh, it's so short, but man, it's very, very, you will clip this very often. And now the last part, which was actually sight reading. I remember that. I beat this sight reading the last part. It's, it's much easier than the rest. It might look impressive, but just sort of move up and it just sort of works see there you go perishable shooting captured
not live because uh, it's just way too clippy. And uh, this is it. The last stage of Imperishable Night has been played. Um, I'm still going to make uh, one or two extra videos because there is still some more content in this game. Imperishable Night is definitely the Toho game with uh, the most stuff in it. Thanks to... Spell Practice Mode. We'll see that next time. Bye.